Hello there, welcome to the GIST and Plug TV Live on the GIST today. Chief of Army Staff Ibrahim Atahiru, seven others die in Kaduna plane crash. Let's check out details. A military Beechcraft 350 aircraft has crashed at the Kaduna International Airport on Friday, claiming all eight souls on board, including the newly appointed Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiru. It was learned that the ill fated aircraft crashed at the airport's runway at about 6 p.m., and the Commissioner and Chief Executive Officer of the Accident Investigation Bureau, Nigeria, Aki Olateru confirmed that the eight souls died on board. Olateru said that the Beechcraft 350 had eight souls on board and unfortunately all of them died. Also, the Nigerian Air Force confirmed that there was an accident involving one of its aircraft in Kaduna but did not provide details. An air crash involving a Nigerian Air Force aircraft occurred this evening near the Kaduna International Airport. The immediate cause of the crash is still being ascertained. More details to follow. This was written by the Nigerian Air Force Director of Public Relations and Information, Edward Gapquet, in a statement. At least 17 military officers have lost their lives in the last three months in three crashes involving Nigerian Air Force jets. On Sunday, February 24, 2021, seven NAF officials died on board a Beechcraft King Air B-350I aircraft when the jet crashed in Abuja. Also on Wednesday, 31st March 2021, NAF spokesman Air Commander Edward Gapquet said an Alpha jet aircraft involved in the anti-terror war against Boko Haram and Islamic State West Africa province lost radar contact in Burano State. Two officers were on board the missing jet, which was later declared crashed, and the whereabouts of the two airmen unknown till date. However, so many people have reacted to the story on Twitter as it has now become the number one trending story in Nigeria today. Let's check out some of the reactions to the story. Fisaya Shiyombo wrote, In a normal country, the chief of army staff and the seven others had no business dying. Two military aircraft crashes and another disappearance in just one year were enough prompting for internal assessment of the safety of these machines and the airspace in general. But Nigeria? Well, it leaves it with that question. Let's check out more comments. Ayo Shogunro wrote, From bombing IDP comms to bombing their own soldiers, from a pilot being killed in a freak car accident to the chief of army staff and others dying in a plane crash, there is a lot of dysfunction in the Nigerian military and an urgent investigation is needed. Senator Shewu Sani wrote on Twitter, The death of the chief of army staff Atairu Ibrahim and others in the plane crash is a national tragedy. May their souls rest in peace. My deepest condolences to the headquarters of the Nigerian army, their families, and the nation. Also, Belo Shagari says, The death of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Ibrahim Atahiri, is shocking. We belong to Allah, and to him we shall return. Comrade Dejia Deyaju wrote, They said Shakao was killed yesterday. Today, Chief of Army Staff died in a plane crash. Dear extremists in government, what is going on? Well guys, those are some of the comments we can take right now as a lot are still pumping in on social media. But ultimately, so many people have sent in their condolences to the families of those that lost their lives. And right here in Plug TV Live, we also pray that the souls of those who are departed will rest and of course God grants their family the fortitude to bear the loss. We know of course that a lot will pop up in the course of this news. We'll bring you more details. Just remember to like and subscribe to Plug TV Live before you go.